Let's do this again. All right, now, let's do it again. This is take two. I want to use the same data we used last time, but we're going to use mass of steam as 2.66 kilograms, same mass of ice, same initial temperature of ice, same initial temperature of steam, and we're going to look for that. We know it's 60 degrees, all right? Now, this is what I want you to do. Get out your calculators. We're going to go through this more quickly. So if you're home, make sure that you have your equation sheet out and an answer sheet out, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hum. You ready? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, this is ten. No, this is ten. See, I'm starting over. See that? That's ten times fifty times 0.492. What does that equal? Ten times fifty times 0.492. 246. Exactly? Yep. 246. Okay, 246. Plus 2.66 times 80. No, 10 times 80. 800. 800. Plus 10 times... No, this will be 10 times 1, right? That's 10. So that'll be 10 times TF is 10 TF. That's 0. So this reduces to 10 TF. Right? Right? Okay, now. You combine. What is it? And then you combine them. Yeah, you can combine these two. So that's 1046 plus 10 TF. Okay? So we know that's what it's going to be, right? But right now we want to put... We want to put, we want to put the heat gained in terms of TF, right? Yeah. See what I mean by that in terms of TF? Like I said, Y in terms of X would be Y plus X squared plus 4. We don't know TF. Okay, we don't know TF. Just a second there, Matthew. So this is going to be 1,046 plus 10 TF. Can you see that up there? Is that coming out? Yeah. Okay? All right, so I can erase this. Yes. Matthew. Um, the TI in by the CW, what is that? Like Zero. Zero? Yeah. So it's just MI times... Yeah, in other words, it's going to be... It's going to be the mass of the ice, which is 10. <clears throat> this is going to be... This is going to be TF, we don't know what that is. Yeah. Minus zero. Okay. 10 times zero, zero, just drops out. Okay. Right? Okay? You all right with that? <clears throat> Matthew was asking, well, what's TI for Q3? Zero. Doesn't matter. Drops out. Okay. Q lost. Q lost. Right? Mass times, what is it, what's the mass? Ten. No. 2.66. 2.66, right? Oh, yeah. So 2.66 times um, what? 100 minus 140 is negative 40. Yep. So 2.66 times negative 40 times 0.483. So it would be... Mass of steam, TF minus TI, Q5, C, steam. Right? That's the first heat. That's Q5. And this will be mass of steam, heat of fusion, Q4. And then it'll be what? It's going to go to, we don't know what that temperature is, right? So it's going to be the mass of the steam, TF minus TI. We know that's 100, right? And then C, water. Right? You all right with that? OK. 
Okay? Yes? I'm going to do this in red. All right, so 2.66 times 50 times 40, 2.66 times 40 times 0.483 is what? 51.39. 51, negative 51.39. Mm -hmm. Right? This will be 2.66 times 540 is what? 1,436.4. Negative? The next one will be 2.66 2.66 times 1 is just 2.66 times TF is 2.66 TF minus 2.66 right you get that Yeah, in other words, I distribute. This is 2.6, 2.66 times TF is 2.66 TF. 2.66 times 100, that's the initial temperature of Q3, right? This is Q3. It's going to be... <clears throat> now, do we have to assign that a negative? No, because what will happen is we know the answer is 60, right? Yeah. Right, so it's going to be... It's going to be like less than 180, right? 2.66 times 60 is less than 180. 3 times 60 is 180, is 2.66. You right with that? And that's going to be greater than 180. So that's going to come out to be a negative number. So the negative number will be taken care of in the calculation. See that? Okay. So what's this? Let's rewrite it first, okay? Let's rewrite it in a weird color, okay? You know what? Do this. Negative 51.39 and negative 1,436.4. 1,487.9. What is it? Negative 1,487.9. Right? Mm -hmm. Plus... 2.66 TF minus 266, right? Mm -hmm. Can I erase some of this? Sure. All right, I'm running out of room. So I can erase this. Okay, so this, I'm going to say, <clears throat> what is. What is 1,487.79 minus 266? Yeah, you know, this, in other words, yeah, th minus, yeah, this plus this, and we'll hang on a negative. What is it? 1,753.79. Is that right? Yep. Plus 2.66 TF. You remember that? Yep. So, what we can say is, we can say, I'm not sure that's coming out. Is that coming out? Okay. Um, Is that all right? Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. All right? I can erase this then? Yeah. You know what? Let's leave that there. Okay? okay? I know what? I know. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. 10, 4, 10, 10, 46. Now I'm going to take, now we're going to do this, this is magic, okay? Take the additive inverse of both of these terms. 
it'll be Positive. plus 1753.79 minus 2.66 TF. You all right with that? All right, now, subtract 1046 from both sides. What do you get on the right side? 707.79. 707.79. Is that right? Yep. Add 2.66 to both sides. 12.66. Right? Yes? Hopefully we're right. I've been doing I've been doing this my entire adult life. And when I do a long problem, I always wonder, did I get it right? I always presuppose we're gonna get it wrong. Even and I've been doing this my whole life. So 707.79 divided by 12.66 is what? 55.9. Is that right? We're that far off? Yeah. <laughs> Round off error. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we done? Yeah. I'll, I'll go through this calculation again and make sure it's round off error, but <laughs> it's Friday and my brain is fried. Exactly. All right. We learned something, though. We learned. That's all that good, good plan. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great weekend, and please be careful out there, okay? Come back healthy on Monday. All right.